Hey, my name is Dan and I recently got an A1 3D printer from Bamboo. It's one of the cheapest, high quality, beginner friendly 3D printers on the market. It has a huge community of people printing additional parts for this machine. So naturally, when I finished assembling it, I got pretty carried away and started printing what I consider the 10 must have accessories for the Bamboo A1. Now PLA is said to be harmless and it shouldn't cause any bad health problems, but it's probably a good idea to print with an open window or like me, grab yourself an air purifier of some kind. Link in the description to the one I use down below. Now I'll start off with all the simpler upgrades first and then I'll move up to the more complex ones. Well, what I consider to be complex. I'll put all the links to the STL files in the description below. All right, let's make this quick. First thing on the agenda is a poop container. This thing flings poop everywhere. So naturally I went for a compact poop container, which is extremely easy to attach and remove from the printer. Now that poop is contained, let's move on to the time-lapse module. Now I shoot on Sony cameras. So if you have a remote like this one, you can print out the time-lapse module for the A1. If you have a Sony RMT DSLR2 remote controller, you can create beautiful time-lapses by simply installing this module onto your Bamboo A1 here. However, you have to take off the old bracket and replace it with this one, which is pretty straightforward to do. Also, lube up the button so it doesn't jam up. I learned that the hard way. Now the printer head will trigger the remote and make these cool time lapses. I use this beautiful scraper way more than I thought I would. I keep it nearby so it's always there when you need it. You should too. Next up, I printed this little clip on the right rear corner of the A1 heat bed to help align the build plate. And this build plate aligner prints in like 20 minutes and uses less than five grams of filament. Update on this one, folks. The nozzle hit the build plate aligner after the third layer and caused an error, causing the print to stop. So until a new design to compensate for this is available, probably best to avoid it for now. Next up, from jamming my finger in the cooling fan, I decided to print a simple yet practical fan cover for the A1 and A1 Mini went for a really nice matte black filament for the rest of these prints too. Next, I printed the little hook to hang a spare nozzle on the A1 printer's frame, perfect to store my 0.2 nozzle. An LCD cover. To protect from dust, I went for this simple design that works perfectly. Oh, and now seems a good time to name my printer too. I'm not a fan of how the cable went everywhere when the tool head moved along the Z axis. This guide leads the cable flat alongside the printer. The tool head can move freely up and down without detaching and reaches maximum height with no problems. I also wasn't a fan of the string attachment that came with the filament swatches either. So I printed this swatch display board by Bamboo Lab themselves. I only need the matte and basic filaments on hand right now and these cards will be easier to store. Now this one took the longest to print but I think it's probably my favorite. This cool storage box is specifically designed for all the tools that come with the Bamboo Lab printers. It features a modern design that provides awesome organization for all your tool parts, keeping your workspace tidy and efficient. Went for a yellow interior to switch it up a bit too. I've seen quite a few filament clips on Maker World, but I wanted to try this one since it looks like the best option. It keeps unused filament tidy and prevents it from getting tangled. It prints in like 20 minutes too. All right, so those are all the upgrades I've made in the first month of owning the Bamboo Lab A1. I'm already thinking about other upgrades I wanna make because it took me so long to edit this video. So maybe I'll make a part two, you never know. Uh, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. And with that, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.